Hello and welcome to Chapter 5, Section 2. Now this is a really quick section. It's called Interpreting Graphs. Um, essentially what I need you to be able to do is look at a graph and kind of understand what it's saying overall. So we're going to look at a bunch of different lines on different graphs and just kind of get the idea of it. For example, most of the graphs that we're going to be looking at are, are distance time graphs, which means over a span of time, here's what happens. Now, when you're looking at things on a time graph, you always put time on the bottom. And distance or whatever it is that you're measuring is going to go on the side because what you're doing is you're looking at something as time goes on. So, for example, in this graph, as time goes on, I increased, as time goes on, I increased my distance away from whatever, and then at this point in time, I turned around and I started getting closer and closer to whatever until this time when I arrived back where I started. That's what this graph shows me. Now, this graph shows me that I went the same distance and I came back, but look, I did it faster. Now, is this Molly uh, walked to school in the morning and walked home from school in the afternoon and she did it faster on Friday and slower on Monday or vice versa, that kind of thing. That's what we're looking at. And you could just be able to look at these graphs and tell something. I can also tell that Molly didn't stop at all because her time never wavered. She walked at a pretty even rate and her rate of speed didn't really change. She pretty much walked in a, she didn't necessarily walk in a straight line, but she walked at a straight speed. Does that make sense? Okay. There are other distance time graphs um, that also show you some additional information. For example, in this graph here, somebody walked for a little while and then they stopped walking. And they, they stayed there for a while. They sat on a bench. They stood chit-chatting with somebody. They went to the store and did their shopping. Their distance didn't change from where they were. But the time did. So as time went on, their distance stayed the same. And then they started walking back or driving back or whatever. So this, this also shows you, you see how this steep, this line is a little bit steeper than this line. So this could be walking to the grocery store because you walked pretty quick. You did all your shopping and then you got all these heavy bags you got to carry back and they carried them back a little bit slower because this, this only took this much time to walk to the store, that much time, but it took this much time to walk home significantly longer. You can tell that just by looking at it. You can make up your own stories. And in fact, I think one of your homework questions says, here's a graph, tell the story about it. And you're like, uh, make up a story, doesn't matter. Here, this person actually started out way far away, spent the night at Johnny's house, and started walking home, and sat on a park bench for a while, and then finished walking home. That's a story that could tell this kind of time. Does that make sense? Here's somebody who went somewhere, I think in the book this one says, uh, Johnny walked to the movies and sat in the movies and then started walking home and stopped off for lunch at like Taco Bell or something and then finished walking home. That's what this story tells. Now notice this one, the distance doesn't stop, but it does change. This um, this one, I think, was throwing a ball up in the air or shooting a rocket up in the air where um, it, it goes pretty quickly up and then it's just, there's kind of this hang time and it doesn't stop, but it does kind of move a little bit before it, before it starts descending and it descends very quickly. So... This one, there's, there's a little smoother movement at the end. It's not, it's not a, I'm, I'm walking and then I'm stopping and then I'm walking again. Um, so the type of line that you have also tells you a little bit about what's going on in your story. That's it. It's all just 
getting the feel for what the lines mean. So this is more of a conceptual thing than anything else. Now you can't get these wrong. You have to be able to follow the lines and know where they start and know where they end and know what happens in between. I need you also to be able to tell me something about the rate. They walked faster here than they did here. This is a pretty fast pace because these lines are steep. This line, not as steep as these lines, so it wasn't really in as much of a hurry here. Um, so we'll look for the details and incorporate those into your stories, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.